Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Man, God is good, amen, and he is worthy to be praised. Amen, we give him honor, we give him glory. We magnify his holy name for all that he has done. Amen, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. This is Brother Williams. Um, thank you all for taking the time to uh, watch this video. It's gonna be a short one today. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Just wanna bring some things to your attention. Amen, but before I get into the video, I want you to um, help me out by uh, liking these videos, by sharing these videos, and by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that very much. Amen, uh, this is a ministry uh, that the Lord has given me. I mean, it's, I know it's, it's different than what you're, what you're used to hearing, but I don't have an agenda only to teach the Word of God, amen, to open up the truth of the Word of God and to reveal the things that most people are afraid to talk about. But anyway, I have a, a, just a short uh, a video. This today. administration, they got caught in a lie. And see, and they don't have Twitter to back them up anymore since Elon Musk has bought Twitter and they got fact checked and they had to withdraw their story. Amen. <laughs> God is good. So what were they talking about? What, what were they lying about? They were lying about social security and how the elderly will be getting a, 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 a good raise from Social Security. And they tried to spin this and say that it was because of Biden's policies. And they got fact-checked and found out, you know, that they were lying. And then they tried to cover up this lie. Here's the video. Listen for yourself. House backtracking after getting called out for a tweet about Social Security checks. The White House posted seniors are getting the biggest increase in Social Security checks in 10 years through President Biden's leadership. But Twitter added a fact check pointing out that the increase is due to the annual cost of living adjustment, which is based on the inflation rate, and it was signed into law by President Nixon. The White House deleted the tweet. Mm. The tweet was not complete. Usually when we put out a tweet, uh, we posted with context and it did not have that context. Uh, so in the past, we've pointed out that for the first time in our in over a decade, seniors uh, Medicare premiums will, will decrease even as their social uh, security checks increase. That's a little bit of context that was not included. In America. <laughs> Amen. So I guess uh, Miss Pierre thinks that if she does the hand gestures, and all of this stuff, she'll be more believable. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, these, uh, these people are natural born liars. They have lied to themselves. Um, they've repeated a lie so many times that they, they think that they're telling the truth. Amen. And it is really sad to see uh, this administration uh, behaving in such uh, a manner. And this is why I believe the Lord gave me this scripture, Isaiah 28 and 15, which depicts this administration. And it says, Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the Overflowing scourge shall pass through. It shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, this scripture depicts, and it is, it is fitting to this administration. If you can't see it, Ask God to give you some discernment. I mean, if you would turn your face from the media outlets that are speaking uh, propaganda and that are in the pockets 
of this administration and in the new world order, then you can begin to see this. See, the Bible says uh, evil communications corrupt good manners. So as long as you are indulging and feeding in your spirit those things that come from this secular new world order, anti-God, anti-America news media outlets, you're not going to see it. But this scripture is what I believe the Lord gave me. And I will continue to post it uh, until the Lord tells me it's enough. But it says, because ye have said we have made a covenant with death. This administration has made a covenant with death. How? Well, they don't mind killing uh, unborn babies. They don't mind killing babies that are nine months in the womb. They don't care at all. As long as they uh, can get their agenda across. And with hell, are we at agreement? With hell, are we at agreement? My, my. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. Why? Because for we have made lies our refuge. We've seen so many times and time again how this administration have lied. Just flat out told lies. And they believe their lies. Lies to be truth. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Pray for the spirit of discernment. Pray that the Lord will Open up your understanding so that you would, I mean, first of all, pray that you would have a love for the truth. Because if you don't have a love for the truth, the word of God saying, because they receive not the love of the truth, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is Brother Williams. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this short message. God bless you as you follow him, as you follow his word and his way. Until next time, be blessed.